Former President Donald Trump has been charged with 34 felony counts of falsifying business records to cover up hush money paid to adult film star Stormy Daniels to silence her about an affair before the 2016 presidential election. The prosecution's key witness, Michael Cohen, Trump's former attorney who says he paid Daniels $130,000. Michael Cohen, out of his own pocket, paid Stormy Daniels money so that she would not talk about it then. And he was reimbursed by the Trump Organization. Thank you very much, everybody. Are you getting a pot of witch? This is a witch hunt. It's a uh, hoax. Thank you. Mr. Trump has denied the encounter with Daniels, who will testify against him. But buying Daniels' silence during an election campaign violates federal election laws. The charges are a plethora of misdemeanors based in the falsifying business records statutes in New York State in the penal law, and that is elevated to a felony uh, with the finance campaign finance violations. Former President Donald Trump now faces 91 charges across four separate cases in different states. Each of the charges in the New York hush money trial carries with it a maximum of four years in prison. But a judge could sentence Mr. Trump to probation if he is convicted. However, a felony conviction would not necessarily change voters' minds in the upcoming presidential election. Given everything that's happened and given how much uh, trouble Donald Trump has already faced without losing uh, a great base of his support, uh, it's hard to really know what the political effects of any of this would be. Many legal experts doubt that Trump would ever serve jail time, and there is nothing in the federal election laws that prevents him from serving as president again, even if he is convicted of a felony in the New York case. Frank Uciardo, TRT World, New York.